The richest woman in the world, Gina Reinhart, has some advice for the working class. If you're jealous of those with more money, don't just sit there and complain. Do something to make more money yourself. Spend less time drinking or smoking and socializing and more time working. Of course, Reinhardt made her money the old-fashioned way, by inheriting it. An estimated $30.1 billion from iron ore processing. And I would like to add that when the rich are smoking, drinking, and socializing, it's called networking. She continues. There is no monopoly on becoming a millionaire. Become one of those people who work hard, invest, and build, and at the same time create employment and opportunities for others. I remember these guys, these people that she's talking about, the ones who took the bailout money from Wall Street, who took public money to pay for their own failings, the people who believe that you should live or die on your own feet in some kind of quasi-social Darwinist market structure. Now. I don't think I really have to explain why it's downright stupid to think that just anybody can be a millionaire and everybody can be a millionaire if you just work. Because I can, I'm willing to bet that just take one person from these iron ore mines and I'll guess that that person has worked harder in a single day than she ever has in her entire life. And despite that, she'll still continue to think that she works really, really hard and that the work she does is really virtuous because it really pays off. This is more of this uh, detachment from the actual reality that's around us, not in the their delusional kind of way or schizophrenic kind of way, in that they're not there and they don't see it. Just take this preconceived notion of how everything is and transplant that onto everything and then therefore all conditions are the same and that all, all outcomes can be the same regardless of how that is completely detached from actual reality so uh, seriously Miss Reinhardt, Ms. Reinhardt, I don't know if she's married or not f*** you now it, it's also demonstrative of the fact as Noam Chomsky said that some of those heavily indoctrinated with uh, market fundamentalism and not necessarily you know all the way and cap type stuff that the ruling class is the most indoctrinated with it and they can all they can most fervently believe those aspects of it that aren't actually true they're the ones the most actually indoctrinated with this kind of ideology after all just look at Reagan he practically destroyed the entire economy of the United States yet he really probably really believes he did good and those who follow Ronald Reagan really believe he did good even though he cost unending number of jobs for working class people. So it's just a little, just a little information, just a little video on it, really how detached from the material conditions people from the ruling class actually can be.